What is going on guys? It's Tony from Lomo Paintball and today I'm bringing you a comparison with the Planet Eclipse MG100 shooting round ball, also known as your standard paintball, versus the first strike rounds. So, what do you think we should do Mark? Should we just so get on what? with the show? Yeah. Uh, so you should go to LomoPaintball.com, check out the online store where you have all these tanks and the gun and all the wonderful products available and also go to TheJerkyDen.com and then if they want to they can hit up the morethanbeats.com too. Check that out. Boom. So let's let's uh, let's shoot this. I got round ball in here, ten round magazine, and then also I have a full magazine full full magazine full of the first strike rounds. So comparison. Let's go. Round ball first. First strike will be the second round. Shooting down range, and let's go. So what are you shooting at first? I am shooting at. We're gonna shoot the dumpster, right? Well, We're about 175 feet away. 175 feet. So yeah, we did a little Google map. We did a little, brought the wheel out and measured it. We're about 175 feet away from the targets that we're shooting at. I want to get a true range of distance. For those of you out here that don't know what 175 foot range is, your standard NXL X ball size field length is only 150 foot long. So this is obviously further than a full size X ball field. All right, Mark, round ball is in the chamber. We got 10 shots, five on one. I'm gonna flip it around, five on the other. And then we're gonna put the first strike in and see what the difference is. So I'm gonna be aiming at the dumpster only this time so we can get a good gauge of what's about to happen. Are you ready? Ready. Ready on set. Here we go, let's, let's do it. Dumpster, let's see. Can it reach it, you think? What do you think? I, I think it'll reach, but I'd like it to be at the W and the logo or higher. Do you think it can higher. reach? Okay. All right, so here we go. One. Didn't make it. Did not make it. Two. Did not, Did not make, make it. it. So for you guys watching, I've shot two rounds. Uh, they're falling, what do you think, 10 to 15 foot short? Yeah, it looks like about two, one to two parking spaces. Yeah, so probably 15 feet short of my 175 foot target. All right, I'm gonna arc it up a little bit. Ah, that one was just shy. It was like five foot short. It's a fresh uh, yeah. air fill and... Yeah, I've got plenty of air. I got 3,000 PSI in this tank. Uh, this gun is stock, out of the box, brand new from Planet Eclipse. They normally chronograph right around 275 or so feet per second. So here we go, Mark. Ah, just a foot or two short. Can you see him? I can. I'm, I'm watching. That one would have made it. I lost that one. Me too. All right, so you're out. Was that all five shots? Uh, all right, now around. don't you don't waste the other half because we still have to do an accuracy test. So switch to the first Ooh. strike rounds now because this is distance. He's getting tricky. So half of those round balls are shot. Now these are the first strike rounds. Now you've got five and five in that too, right? Sure. Wait, what? Yeah, maybe. Let's see. Are you ready? I am These ready. are the first strike rounds. We shot the first five with round ball, standard paint, and now first strike. And none of them made the dumpster. Over the dumpster. Over. <laughs> Alright, try to hit the dumpster. <laughs> okay. Oh, just over top yep, of it. I'm seeing them. Just below, you aim, that is your aim though. Yeah. Boom! Everybody just below the white, just yep. below the white. There it is. All right. The top so of the dumpster. Try to go over the dumpster again, just for proof over the dumpster. Yep. It's gonna go way over the dumpster. <laughs> Aim for the tree or something. Okay. In the woods, hit the All tree. All right. Actually. So <laughs> I don't know if I would call that twice the distance, but it definitely, it definitely shoots further. Went farther. Yeah, it no doubt. Would have made at least another thirty to forty feet. For sure. And even if you guys did notice, I had arc on the first original paintball shot too. So both of these, I kind of arced them up a little bit to hit the 175 foot target, but the first arc rounds, no doubt, shoot, shoot further. Standing in the same spot, obviously, um, you see what my background is. So yeah, there's no doubt that first strike definitely shoots further. All right, we're gonna move closer. Uh, probably gonna go to the corner of the building, farther okay. than we normally are for a shooting competition. But I want to see if Tony can thread the needle with round ball or with the Ooh. first strike. That's why we got the little orange cone down there. Let's go check it out. All right. Head down. Oh, these things are heavy. Oh, he just, oh, just, oh, just, oh, just, oh. 
All right, guys, so I'm going to put the first strike. I've got five or six shots left on the other side of this mag. I'm going to put those in my pocket. I'm bringing back out the round ball, and what Mark is going to do, he's going to want me to thread the needle with this uh, little cone you see. I mean, shoot. So I'm 10, 20, 30, 40, 55 foot away now. We moved up closer, obviously. I'm still 55 feet away. How do you expect me to hit this, Mark? What do you... This is crazy. So, I'm loading these back in. Round ball coming at you. Not waiting, Mark. Time waits for no man. That's what they say. You ready? I got five shots. So, stock barrel not sized up correctly with the paint. Oh! Did he even hit the thing? No, I didn't close. It's a stock barrel. I didn't size any paint up or nothing. So that didn't even, I didn't come close. That was round ball. Let's see if first strike is going to treat me any different or not. Oh, I thought that was going in. All right, so they, uh, as you guys seen, once again, I'm shooting the stock barrel on this round ball versus first strike, and as what you guys just witnessed, first strike is, it pains me to say this. It's way more accurate. Obviously, a paintball, gelatin capsule, spherical all the way around. It doesn't have the first half of it a paintball, the back half a cylindrical uh, tail fin. Dude, the accuracy on those things is pretty sick. And how did the uh, the MG100 feel shooting the first strike? Great. I mean, is this there any is any different recoil, any different anything? It, it not really. I felt like if you were going to see recoil wise, it, it shoots a little stiffer per se with the first strike rounds. But this thing is phenomenal. I mean, this MG100 by Planet Eclipse is awesome. Um, the first strike rounds are pretty legit. I will give it that. Like I said, I'm only shooting a stock barrel. If you actually size your paint up to like a 6.85 to 6.87, it's gonna shoot the paint a lot more accurate with both round ball and first strike. So wow, yeah, the, that was that was pretty cool. Um, what do you think, Mark? I think they need to go to lonewoolpaintball.com, check out the online store, pick up an MG100 and some first strike rounds. MG, themselves. first strike, the Ninja SL2 tanks. We sell first strike uh, tanks as well, all sorts of stuff. Check us out, lonewoolpaintball.com. And we're bringing this content to you guys so you can see what is more accurate. And until next time, don't forget, go to thejerkyden.com. See you guys later.